everybody is staying safe and healthy. I'm Emily Calkins, a, um, a teen on the exhibition committee and a volunteer at the Carpenter Arts Center. Today I'm going to be showing you around, <laughs> showing you around the art center um, with the cutting edge exhibition, all the new art that is inspired by the younger generation and highlighting um, upcoming artists in Carpinteria. Come on inside. We're going to start off the tour with our jewelry. One of my favorite artists locally is Kathy Wang. She um, puts locally grown wildflowers in resin and locks them in forever so they'll never wilt and they'll be captured on your jewelry for as long as you wear it and they're super pretty and I have some of her earrings and they're just great. Over here this is Lost Souls, a piece um, made completely out of the bottom of shoes and um, I really like the depth that is shown in the um, collage. Well, I, oh, I thought it was just really inspiring how you can take something so I don't know, something you don't really look at because it's on the bottom of your shoe and make it such a eye-catching, <laughs> really eye-catching piece. So if you come around over here, we have some more art. I love the <laughs> different shapes and faces. It reminds me of some sort of um, Egyptian uh, collection, something you'd see at the Met. Um, right over here, we have a wood block print. I actually just did a wood block print in my art class and they're super fun. And I think we are going to have a print show coming up, so stay tuned for more art that looks just like this. If you come around the corner with me, you have some more local artists. So we have like kind of a theme of nature over here. So I'm Gary Copiano. Karen Lancy. <laughs> Over here we have a third place winner. I feel like this is one of the pieces where you can just stand and get lost in the colors and shapes of this piece. And I love the dramatic size. It really catches your eye when you walk in. It's kind of the first thing you see in the gallery. And over here we have a multimedia collage. It says American Spirit Reborn. And it has some text on it. Right across the way from our wonderful sky blue wall, we have the striking royal deep blue of Night Harvest, a piece by Luis. It's very dramatic and I love the rich color contrasting this light blue. Now if we come around the corner, we have a young artist from City College, um, Chet Taylor, and I love the contrasting, it kind of looks like he cut up two different canvases and put the two different images on top, but actually I'm pretty sure it's just painted. But I love the contrast of the red and the brown and the, um, the different patterns that seem to be overlaying. And over here we have a, dip, a multimedia diptych um, called the Rincon Bowl. In my art class recently we had a challenge where two different artists had to create a diptych together, which means a piece created on two different um, canvases or wood blocks or whatever that is. Um, but it's a really cool way to express movement and a collaboration that doesn't have to be on just one canvas. Over here, this is a really interesting piece, something kind of cutting edge or out of the box. It's called Frozen Kiss, and it um, looks like it is out of resin or some sort of media. You can really see the depth in this, and it always makes me wonder, um, I don't know, it leaves me questioning how they did this because it seems so complex and, um, huh, I don't know, striking. Um, over here, I'm proud to say that I got one of my pieces into the show. It's called Femininity to show the contrast of the soft, delicate flowers in the background and the sharp, strong knives in the foreground. Um, I took this photo on a flatbread, a flatbread scanner, which is 
a different technique that I'm used to because I'm used to um, working with a DSLR camera. Um, I actually laid the flowers and the knives on top of each other and, and couldn't see what I was taking a photo of until it came out of the printer. So it was a, con a cool process to stretch my, um, my artistic abilities and try something new. Over here we have some um, more art that the exhibition committee kind of played with. Um, the colors over here, we have this turquoise theme going all the way from here across. I love the um, fluid acrylics. It's a really cool technique. Um, my friend at K School also uses it, and you have to uh, make the acrylic paint thinner so you can pour it. And um, it's kind of very hands off, and you have to kind of trust the process, and you don't really know how it's going to end up until it's on the canvas and it always turns out beautifully. We have some more pieces that kind of um, play with bold lines and shapes. You can see coming from this one to this one, they both have strong patterns, lines, and shapes that kind of um, pull the whole gallery together. Over here we have another multimedia piece and it's um, very interesting to look at because the more you look at it, you find things like um, a hidden word or two, or the 3D um, effect of the wires and the rusted pieces coming off. Over here, we continue back into the theme of nature and beautiful landscapes and, and things like that. And we always welcome um, 3D pieces to be submitted into the gallery as well. We have a, um, a porcelain piece right here that has a lot of cool texture and and shape to it. Um, we hope that the gallery is open soon, but when, um, when it is, we always welcome people to check out Bin Art and support local, um, local artists by buying um, the smaller pieces that are located in the bin. Now if we come over here, we have another ceramic piece. Um, and it's, it's kind of, I think, up to interpretation. The title of it is Grief, but um, depending on the angle, you see um, different shapes and kind of you, your imagination can take you to different places. Here we have Balancing Act 1, Balancing Act 2. Um, the top one actually got an honorable mention and I love the geometric shapes and the bold yellow color. It's kind of uh, a very happy, vivid color. And, um, me personally, it kind of reminds me of um, a beehive because of the bright yellow color and the, um, the repeated pattern. Um, but in a more geometric way. If we come right behind the hostess, we have um, another collage, a little more mechanical. I love the um, smoggy colors and the 3D effect, how it hangs off the canvas. And this is by Karen Hobb and Lynn Dodge. Over to the left, we have three more pieces that all kind of share these turquoisey blue tones. Um, so we wanna thank you for um, being patient with us and we hope to um, open up as soon as the um, Corona-19 um, lifts up and um, lets us do so. So once we're all safe and healthy, we encourage you to stop by the Arts Center and check out this amazing show. Thank you.